you're you're more or less put in a corner and you sit there because we know you're not curable so we'll we'll get to you when we can um and to me incurable should not mean invisible Cancer has spread from my breast into my lymphatic system, into my lungs and into my spine. I asked how many tumours I had and the doctor wouldn't give me an answer because he said I had so many and I was given nine months to two years maximum. Um, you know, what are you saying? Or what exactly are you saying? Um, the nurse that was with um, him stood at the side of the bed and slid down the wall onto her hunkers in the corner. And I kept looking at her thinking, is she all right? Um, but actually I've since learned that she was completely <coughs> overwhelmed and didn't know what to say. Education is key. Um, we need to be made aware of these things. Um, I know a lot about it now, a lot about it now that I didn't know, you know, three, four years ago. But um, it's kind of too late, you know, I'm treatable, I'm no longer curable, um, and I'm just trying to live the best life that I can at the moment. I was diagnosed with secondary breast cancer shortly after I'd been diagnosed with primary. Um, that's four years ago. My, uh, so my breast cancer has gone into my spine and, uh, you know, that means uh, obviously uh, I'm also incurable and uh, but treatable. Can you imagine if you were brought into your room and told that you had a disease that was incurable, inoperable, and that would ultimately end your life, and you had no follow-up backup, how you would feel? You should have dropped um, off the car cliff. Yeah, you really mm. literally feel like you're, you've been pushed off the edge of a cliff. I, I can't do anything to bring Sarah back. But if I can do something for one other family, one other woman, to change things, things have to change. They have to change. Women are dying daily. The, the images themselves are very, very, um, they're raw, but they're dignified at the same time. But each of them tells a story and uh, they have huge impact in terms of showing what's behind the everyday person that still has to look after the kids, that goes out to do the shopping, um, but the emotional side, and that's what I wanted to capture. I can remember coming out, I photographed three of the young ones all in one week, and I come out from the studio and I sat in the car and I cried like a baby. I'm aware that this is going to be part of their legacy and that's why they're doing it. They're all my friends now and I'm very, very aware and sometimes it becomes overwhelming that every one of these friends are going to leave, leave us. But no matter how hard it is for me, nothing compared to what they have to, to live with.